Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. How much wrapping paper should you use? Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back. To all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers, thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. In a previous video, I made this bag using wrapping paper and you guys loved it. However, there were questions about how do you know how much wrapping paper to use when you're making a bag for let's say a custom item or an odd shaped item that you might have and you want to give as a gift. Well, that's what today's video is all about. So let's go ahead and switch to the overhead camera so that I can show you the secret or the formula for how to do it. All right, so here's my wrapping paper and here is an odd shaped item that you might want to give to someone or you might want to know just how to figure out odd shaped items or you just might be interested in how to make a bag for an item like this. Well, what we need to do is we need to take the widest part of this bag and the height of this bag, and that's how we determine how much wrapping paper we should use. All right, so I have cut down my wrapping paper to a size that's more manageable, and I have folded it over, and now I'm just going to crease this in because it's just going to make it easier for me to manage. So then the first thing that I want to do is figure out how wide should the base be. So I've taken the pumpkin and I've placed it down on my paper and I can see that based on having some space on this side I need some space on this side so all I'm doing is taking the pumpkin and I am going to put it right there I'm going to take this piece and fold up then I'm going to take my pumpkin set it on my paper and make sure that I have some space on both sides. So that's all you need to do initially. So let's go ahead and just crease that so that we'll have a good starting point. So we know now that this is our base. So now we take this piece and it'll sit inside your bag like this. And this is an easy way for determining how tall you actually want your bag to be. So I'm going to take my finger blade, I'm going to give myself some extra space, and I'm going to take my finger blade and I am just going to cut off this much. Don't want to break that beautiful pumpkin because I'm going to be giving that away in 2024 along with some of the other beautiful pumpkins from Eric. All right, so now that we have it like this, we know that our pumpkin is going to rest comfortably in our bag. So now I need to determine how much paper do I need to use this way. We've already figured out how to determine how wide the base should be, and we have figured out how to figure out how tall the bag should be. So now we need to figure out how wide the bag should be. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pumpkin starting right here on the edge. I'll place it down once, move it over, place it down twice, move it over and place it down three times. And now I should have a good sized bag to work with. So I'm going to take my finger blade and I'm just going to cut right there and then I'm going to cut right here and one thing that I meant to show you guys is that I'm going to take one piece of this and cut off just a little bit so that I'll have a fold over piece for my adhesive so now we have the bag we have this fold over piece because we've already creased this in, let's go ahead and take this little fold over flap here and fold it over like this. Sorry if you guys hear that background noise. Sounds like there is someone getting a delivery outside.
So now I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to bring in my glue, place a little bit of glue on this adhesive flap. Now we'll take this piece, fold it over, and let's go ahead and get that nice and stuck. And I would completely construct a bag like this using my glue because this item that I have, even though it's not going in this bag, it would be very heavy for this bag. Okay, let's smooth everything out. And I'm zooming in so that I can show you what I'm doing. So I already have made that crease there at the bottom. We're going to take this, open it like this, and then take this piece where you have that point or that crease and just align it with the crease that's already there on the inside. And then I'm just going to smooth this out. Like this. We'll do it on the other side. So we're going to take the crease and from crease to crease, we just want to match. And guys, once you make your first bag, you're going to be addicted to making your own bags. You'll never go to the store and buy a bag again if you have some wrapping paper. So now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to bring it up one half inch above this. So I'm just going to put it right there. Go ahead and crease. And let's add some glue. The wrapping paper that I'm using is from Hobby Lobby. I have had the same wrapping paper probably for three seasons now. There was a lot on that roll and I bought it after Christmas. So I think I got it for about 90% off because nobody seemed to want the black and white stripes and I love them, but there was a bunch of it still there. So now we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it over to where it's like half an inch on top of this piece. So let's go ahead and just fold that. Now we're going to take our glue and we are going to have a bag. Oh, and then I forgot to tell you to place just a little bit of glue right there on the tip of that so that you can lay it down completely. So now we're going to take the bag and fold over. And what you're folding over to is the point to point here at the bottom. You want a nice crisp point. So let's go ahead and fold. Now we'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to take this piece and fold it in until we have a very crisp base on it. See that point? And then we are just going to crease. So when you open it, you're just going to open everything. Then you're going to take the outside crease and crease it out. Then you'll take the inner crease and fold it in and the outside crease and crease it out the way that any bag would look. So we're going to do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and crease that outer one. Tuck in the middle and crease this one. So now we have our bag and I want to stabilize this bag just a little bit so I am just going to close it. Sorry about all that noise. And I'm going to figure out how much of this do I need. So I'm going to slide this over just a little bit and cut. This is a scrap box that I messed up. So I don't mind using it to stabilize this. So now on this end, when I place it down, 
I'm going to place it down like this, but I'm sliding it over just a little bit to make sure that it's going to fit inside of my bag. If you have something that's really heavy, go ahead and double up on the stabilizer. I'm going to take this piece, we're going to tuck it in the bottom of our bag, like so. Now we can take our pumpkin, put it in the bag. We can add some tissue paper on the inside. You can fold over and add a decorative touch to this, or you can add a handle. But y'all, this is the process for figuring out how to make any size bag, even when you're using those odd shaped items. So y'all, I hope that between this video, which I'll have linked in the description box, it'll also be offered to you at the end of this video, as well as what we just did in this video. I hope that between these two videos, you now have the confidence to know that you can make your own gift bags using wrapping paper, newspaper, tissue paper, whatever it is you want to use. Follow the process and you can make many, many bags for the wonderful gifts that you might want to give at any time of the year. So I hope that you have enjoyed this more in-depth video on how to figure out how much wrapping paper do I need. If you have enjoyed this video, and I certainly hope that you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.